Welcome back to another episode of Ask the Hammer with Jeffrey Levine from Buckingham Wealth Partners. Hi, I'm Bob Powell. And Jeffrey, I've got this question that I think is uh, right up your alley. It's, uh, it's about inherited IRAs and the new, the, new, uh, uh, the new laws that have been put in place regarding uh, distributions of, of IRAs. Okay. So, so it goes like this. I just in- inherited an IRA. Can I convert it to a Roth IRA? So uh, it's a good question. And that's actually come up fairly frequently recently. People looking at this and saying, well, I've got 10 years to take out this money. Can I convert it today? Kind of let this ride for the next 10 years and then take that amount out 10, 10 you know, tax free. So essentially get 10 years of tax free growth. And unfortunately, the answer to that question is no. Uh, but here's a real oddity. So once again, I'm just going to repeat that. You cannot convert a inherited traditional IRA to an inherited Roth IRA. That is not allowed in any circumstances. No inherited IRA to inherited Roth IRA. But in what is a very strange, very odd uh, set of circumstances, if instead of inheriting a traditional IRA or a SEP IRA, et cetera, uh, you inherit some other sort of non-IRA based employer plan. So a 401k, a 403b, et cetera. You actually can take those dollars if you're a designated beneficiary, which would be any living, breathing individual or certain trusts that qualify. And you can take it from the inherited 401k and move it directly to an inherited Roth IRA or from an inherited 403B and move it directly to an inherited Roth IRA. So you can't convert and do what the the, the reader asked with an inherited IRA and move that to an inherited Roth IRA. But for some wacky reason, you can take the inherited plan and do that and convert it at that time after you inherit it right then and have it go right to an inherited Roth IRA. And then for the next 10 years, assuming you're subject to the 10 year rule, you would have freedom to do what you want. You could take as much or as little, and presumably you would leave it alone for 10 years, get the most amount of tax-free growth possible, and then at the end of 10 years, take that asset and distribute it all tax and penalty-free. It's kind of a bizarre wrinkle in the law, but it is the rule nevertheless. Hmm. It strikes me um, that if you were a worker with a 401k, that this may be one reason in, if you were to leave your employer to leave your 401k with your employer instead of taking it and doing a rollover. It could be. It absolutely could be. It, it certainly involves a, a lot of foresight because it means you're not going to convert it during your lifetime. It also means that you know that your child or grandchild or whoever may be inheriting and subject to that 10 year rule will want to convert that from the 401k over to the inherited Roth IRA. And then it also means that you believe that during your life, even if you thought that, it means that you believe that during your lifetime, the plan and the plan's rules and the plan's investments, et cetera, are good enough for you to keep it in there. So it's certainly possible. Uh, It is one of those things that you absolutely must take into consideration when you're going through this decision process of, should I roll over? Should I not roll over? What are the reasons to and, and, and you know, kind of the pros and cons? Absolutely something you might want to keep in mind. Uh, but, but more often than not, it's, uh, it, it's usually not the decision breaker. Uh, I will say that in, in, in just past conversations with clients, that's typically not the thing that, that puts them over the top. But it's useful to know nevertheless. And if you know that that's going to be an issue, then absolutely, you know, it, it, it's a, uh, it is certainly a benefit of, of keeping it in the plan that you cannot do from an IRA. So it's, uh, it, it's just one of those weird wrinkles. And again, it, it just so many different factors. For instance, maybe you really want to give your kids the ability to convert to the inherited Roth IRA from your plan, but you really want to do qualified charitable distributions during your lifetime. Well, you can't do qualified charitable distributions from a 401k. You can only do it from an IRA. So there's all these things. You can only do it from here. You can only do it from there. And ultimately, we've kind of got to put them on a scale and say, what's more important? Let's figure out what we do. And you go from there and you make the best of it because these are the rules we have. (laughs) Yeah, these are the rules. And I suspect that this question will generate more questions about uh, the rules with respect to the elimination of the stretch IRA and and what people can do to um, avoid the consequences of that, uh, given how beneficial the stretch IRA was uh, to so many people, uh, whether whether it was equitable or not, <laughs> or intended or not. 
Well, that's good. We like questions, right, Bob? <laughs> we do like questions. You nailed it. And uh, I'm sure folks want to know how they can ask questions of, of us, too. Yes. So if you have a question, we want to hear it. Just email us at askthehammer at buckinghamgroup.com. Again, that's askthehammer at buckinghamgroup.com. And Bob and I will look forward to seeing those questions in our email box real soon. Have a great day.